Anything that is successful requires preparation. Hi, my name is Philip Lim and you are in my home, in my kitchen. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my everything crab omelet. I call it my everything omelet because it kind of is everything that's left over from my refrigerator. Eggs, of course, and there's gonna be a special guest appearance of crab meat to make it a bit more luxurious. I cook a lot of Asian food, so I do a lot of shopping in Chinatown. And in Chinatown, it's like a, it's like a treasure trove of all different types of cultures, all different types of ingredients, things that are really hard to find. And over the years, I've been able to amass kind of a, a little secret map of hidden spots to find hidden ingredients. So let's start. I like to plate it, the ingredients, in the order of cooking. So it actually takes one less thought process away while the flame is happening. Before I started cooking, I used to burn cup of noodles. And I don't even know how you could even do that, but I think it was like I didn't realize that um, you had to take the foil off before the microwave. <laughs> so trust me, <laughs> trust me. Don't over prepare and don't um, use too much because it all adds up to this omelet in the end. I've been collecting kind of uh, uh, dishware, um, pl uh, platters, knives and everything along the way because it kind of inspires you to cook more too. I design for a living so I like pretty things. Okay. So now I have all my ingredients. I have my um, jalapenos, I have my shallots, I have my onions, and I have my tomatoes. And now I'm just gonna crack a couple eggs. Three eggs, use three eggs. It always turns out better if you're using the right ingredients too. Fresh ingredients directly from the source. You also feel more responsible. I don't overly whisk it because I, I do like the omelet to be uneven. So it feels a bit more artisanal instead of like um, milk uh, or egg in a carton. That's about it. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. I also use a wok to make an omelet because I feel like it's better designed for an omelet. The trick is to get the pan heated before you add everything. That way it, it's quick and it activates all the ingredients right away so it doesn't just sit there. Today I'm using butter. Usually um, I use olive oil or uh, avocado oil, but today I felt like something more indulgent. Put in a dollop of butter. Gonna add a little bit more, it's Friday. This omelet's in my book, so we're doing a variation because again, it was my everything, whatever's left over in the refrigerator omelet. Whatever you have left over, you can throw in the omelet too. Okay, so we begin. So we start with the shallots. And I like cooking with my fingers because I feel more in touch with the actual ingredients. Then comes the crab meat, stir it around. Timing is everything. So little, the tomatoes and then the jalapeno peppers. And then I put in my secret. I cook a fish sauce with everything. Just a little dollop. And then we do black pepper. So I like to activate and um, get all the flavors in the saute actually. So you, you have a nice um, aromatic uh, center. And then here, here we go, the eggs. I put it in in a circular motion. Roll it around so it gets thinner and it cooks more evenly. I also break it up and I check to see if it's okay yet to fold in. What I do too is I fold it in um, kind of to form like a, a burrito. Every time I cook this omelet, I, I learn something new. I try it with different ingredients and it's like, you know, it, then I, in the end, I'm like, okay, it's, this is not for me, that's for me. The whole point is you're not supposed to be the expert. The whole point is cooking is a journey and you get better with this journey as long as you're, you have the courage to take the journey. Carefully flip it over. And it's time to plate. There you go. To finish off with a bit more black pepper and then just sprigs of coriander just to garnish and here you go let's my eat. everything crab omelet let's eat all right here we go omelets are served i hope you guys enjoy it thank and thank you, you bergdorf for coming into my home and spending time with me thank you